Hello everybody, welcome from Times Square, kind of. I'm getting deja vu here because I've been to Times Square a couple of times. Uh, this is the Saudi version of it, down here in Boulevard City. I was at Boulevard World just across the road the other day, but I'm here at uh, Boulevard City today and uh, we're talking about the latest news here with Newcastle United. There is fireworks going off next to us, so if you pick that up, I do apologise. I've got the mic protector on today, but uh, how are the lads, as my t-shirt would say? So last night, the players were doing some work in the, in the gym, but also in the swim pool. They were having a bit of fun as well, and some of them headed up from the hotel up to the sky bridge, which gives you unreal views of the city in Riyadh, especially at night time, kind of like Funny enough, when you're in New York and you're at the top of the, one of the towers, where it's the Rockefeller or um, I forgot the one, the, the Chrysler, that was it. I've been there, I should know. When you're looking down on the city, it looks epic. But yeah, a few of the lads were up there enjoying that as well. Back on the series stuff, Eddie Howe believes that Newcastle should strengthen next month in the January sales. But he has been speaking to some of the local journals, likes of Daily Mail and the Chronicle, who are out here, saying that it could all come down to FFP, financial fair play. You want to maintain this run that we're on at the minute? Of course, we all do. We're flying. We're third in the league. Third in the Premier League. Can you believe it? Can you believe that we are still third? You want to maintain this, and if Newcastle are qualify for Europe, you want to strengthen. But he doesn't expect loads of activity in January, but he has stressed if anybody was... Ooh, the lights have gone down. The lights, the lights have gone down. Awesome. Uh, he has stressed that he wants chemistry coming in uh, into the club because of the squad, the morale, it's all happy. And that's important for any player in integrating into the group. This is all happening. Fireworks going off, left, right and centre, everybody. We'll crack on, we'll crack on. That will not stop me. Uh, the Mail claim that a deal for James Madison is unlikely. So that's the video title. James Madison is unlikely to see the mail. Ooh, some bright colours. Wonderful. Back to reality. Eddie Howe is having transfer meetings here in Riyadh with the likes of Dan Ashworth, who's out here. Jamie Rubin, we've seen pictured. Amanda and Miadad are also here in Riyadh. Riyadh as well. God, that's hard to say. Miadad and Riyadh. Uh, but the mail claim also with that transfer that it could be a case of one in and one out with the transfer this window coming up. You may have noticed that Newcastle have been making loads of deals with Saudi companies since being out here and just before coming out here. Of course, we've seen Saudi companies such as Noon on the on the T-shirt uh, sponsoring the club. They've also got the STC, which is the communications company, who are sponsoring Newcastle around it. Yeah, I've also seen plenty of electronic billboards of the game against Al Halal, which I'm excited to bring match day stuff, which is the match reaction. Last word, a vlog. I think the vlog's going to be very, very different to what I've ever done because I'm out abroad here. Yeah. Uh, but you'll see billboards of Alan St. Maxim and Miguel Miron, even Bruno, who's at the World Cup currently in a minute. And, you know, you're seeing Saudi. The airlines are going to be sponsoring Newcastle in future events. It's like that Newcastle are going to keep coming out here to the to Saudi Arabia and they're going to continue sponsoring them as well. Peter Silverstone, who's recently just come in, has been a busy boy of late, hasn't he? Um, and today the club, of course, announced... Uh, I, I got a bit of a heads up with this. I'll tell you why in a second. With the eSports company VOV Vov to enhance Newcastle's brand amongst this nation. Because let's face it, Saudi Arabia are a young nation. There's a lot of people who are in the younger generation more than, more than what the elder states are. And so there's the young generation and the target in them saying, look, this is the brand that you want to follow. They want to enhance because of the public investment fund because of Yasser al Romayan, they want to have links with all of the young Saudis out here to support Newcastle United. They want, us, they want Newcastle to be their team, uh, which I'm informed reliable that there was a local supporter in attendance at that as well. Uh, we are coming at the fan event. I will talk about that in a second. But all the boardroom are having meetings this week as well. It's not just the first team out here. The board are also out here for a reason. Possibly with clients this week to continue growing Newcastle United as the brand and of course it's a revenue stream that we need to bring in let's be face it because it helps with financial fair play Newcastle's deals with the previous regime with the likes of Fudding 8 and Gaston we aren't the greatest if you look across the Premier League we're a little bit lacking we're about mid-table in, in terms of commercial deals in there but you know the way fans have come over it's great to say that on social media that they're starting to, to arrive in Riyadh now and um, some fans were lucky enough I wasn't unfortunately some fans were lucky 
to come along to a Q&A with the club, which is great earlier on today. That's marvellous to see. And CEO Darren Eels was taking Q&As. Amanda and Jamie greeted and meeted a lot of Newcastle fans today as well. Shola got up on stage today at the fan event. <laughs> Excuse me. Even Eddie Howe took time out to answer Q&As as well. Sean Longstaff was there. Jacob Murphy was there. There was signing autographs, um, taking photos with a lot of international fans. I've seen fans from Kuwait coming, local fans from Newcastle and fans who are out here in the Middle East as well. And that was nice to see the engagement back and forth and hopefully we'll see that back in Newcastle because we all remember the fans forum under the previous regime. We'll only get it once every couple of years, but hopefully that'll improve and hopefully that'll come back over to our homeland as well, which is great. Um, I forgot to mention this as well. I talked about the fans as well. Um, the club actually responded back to us and I didn't even know about it. I, I, I messaged the lads in the WhatsApp and go, how have I missed this? Obviously I was on the flight. So the club saying that um, they're heading out with Riyadh and I replied on our NFTV a Twitter account saying, see you there. And I got a lovely message back saying, have a safe trip. And that was really nice. I've only just seen that today. So that lifted my spirits massively today seeing the club uh, reply back to us, uh, which is great, which is wonderful to see. How nice is that, man? How nice is that? Um, on to tomorrow's game, slash today's game, depending on when you're watching this, because I am three hours ahead of you guys. Players missing from tomorrow's game. Obviously, Pope, Trippier, Fabian Shea, Bruno Gomez, Callum Wilson have all had, or still having, World Cup duties. Emil Kraft is out here, but of course, he's got a long-term injury. Alexander Izak, that's the one I'm disappointed about. He's not going to play in this friendly, and unlikely the home one as well, which is a shame, because I would have liked to see him, but so it looks like it's going to be for me, Chris Wood will probably play a lot of the game against Al Halal. And of course, Al Halal still have a lot of the Saudi players who are out in World Cup duty. 12 of them, in fact, so it we'll, remains to be seen whether they'll feature or not. Of course, Matt Ritchie, Paul Dummett have knocks. Probably that should be okay for they should be playing. And of course, over, the, over at the World Cup, there is a bit of concern about Callum Wilson's injury as well. He's missed two days training with England. Hmm. So hopefully that's not too serious, but I'm looking forward to the game now. That's why I've come out here. As I say, there's loads of content coming. Um, there's also a video whilst I'm here as well, coming up on the channel later on. So make sure you tune to that. <coughs> Can't shift this cough. Uh, I don't have COVID. Obviously I've tested negative for it. Otherwise I wouldn't be here, but I'm loving life in Saudi Arabia. I've been putting it on my Twitter as well. Um, got a lot of stuff planned. Obviously the match tomorrow, I'm going to Abdullah Park before that. Then the match, all the videos, get back to the hotel, edit all of them. Friday I'm going to pop to the zoo. Don't know what I'm doing on a Friday night as of yet. Saturday I'm going to be doing some videos of my time in Saudi Arabia. What I've experienced. Bust some of the myths that are out there from my ex own experience. And, of course, I will touch upon human rights. I think that's only fair that I do that as part of the channel. And then Saturday night I'll be coming home. And then I'm at the women's game on Sunday. Straight from the airport, straight to Kingston Park to go and cheer on Becky Langley's. You know, I'm there, I'm there everywhere supporting Newcastle United. Stay tuned everybody for the for the fun video coming later on tonight why I'm here and match day videos. You need to be subscribed to Newcastle Fans TV. We'll be bringing you all of the content. How are the lads? As my t-shirt would say, how are the lads? See you everyone, smash that like, ta-da, bye-bye.